Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with another tech video. We got some friends here and we are going to be tearing apart the YZ125. Hopefully fixing it today. I don't really know if we're going to fix it um, because I don't know how bad it is. Uh, if you've watched the schlog, you know what happened. Uh, the air filter cage, I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. Uh, fell out of the air, anyway, craziness, and it was all his fault. Filter and look what I found. So here's the thing. It's Otto's fault. Um, he was the one riding it, so we're blaming him. He'll also be paying for everything. No. Uh, but uh, So we're going to pull it apart, and we're going to find out um, how bad it is. It was still running, so that was good. It ran back to the truck, just not very well. And it would start, actually started okay, uh, just no top end. So um, lost compression, rings are probably junk. I'm guessing everything else is okay, because I looked in the cylinder through the... the um, exhaust and it actually wasn't terrible so let's take this thing apart brody you want to do me the um favor of running the camera i know I like it's it. all gonna be on tiktok yep. i'm looking for what i think is gonna be is just some worn rings just uh i don't think the i think the rings are gonna be worn a little bit because the intake side of the cylinder was surprisingly okay like surprisingly okay you didn't put a compression test on it or nothing like that no it doesn't matter <laughs> well you see that around like, eight eight and a half yeah, yeah all right. when it's uh when you find out that there was no air filter involved it doesn't really matter what the compression is <laughs> you just take it off she was up on power so guys check that out that's the cylinder head. Uh, we had RK Tech reshape that. That's why it looks like it does. Um, they decked the, the head and uh, did their cool fluting to it. So that actually looks good. That is not a bad sight, actually. And the spark plug doesn't look terrible. It's not all white and nasty. So far, we're doing well. You know what? I, fig I think I figured out why it happened. The guy that I got this from. So I don't think he did it, but the person before him just take it off that dude. put the restyle yeah. kit on it. Oh, that's right. You yeah, that. and they put a, they have to put a new air box yeah. on it. And when you do that, you you know you swap the air boot out, and that's the only thing I can figure is it just didn't get tightened. But it was in there. For, I mean, it's probably in there for a while. Yeah, just fine. I mean, it would have suction on it holding it there. So he didn't <laughs> have it. This. Came out. Oh, okay. That's hooked so to the boot. This, this yeah. yeah, this like the air filter was bolted to it and tight, but this whole thing was out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have a long list of blown up things except for Ewan. Ewan blows up everything. <laughs> he blew up his 50 because he was trying to keep up with this kid on an 85. Or this kid, his so brother, like on 85, so his brother goes da, 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 down this road, and Ewan's like, boo wee. <laughs> on a 50, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, <laughs> running up behind, like, behind him, like, slow down, slow down. And then I go to try to catch Thomas to tell him to slow down, and then I catch him, I'm like, hey, slow down. Yeah. What are you doing? And he's like, what? I'm like, dude, your brother is. Where's your brother? <laughs> that big black skid mark so go back and there he is trying to kick it you know he's this little tiny dude yeah he's like seven he's like hey, it won't even kick yeah, you know he's just like i'm like <sighs> impromptu Dad. welding son i'm like well blew it up he's like all right i'm like well it's all right no worries whatever he's like so can we still ride this weekend? Like, no. No. No, we absolutely cannot. That's not how we do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, we got to slide. Let, we got to let it, is it focusing? Yeah. Okay, cool. There you go. There's a lot of dirt right there. There's a whole bunch on the slide, too. We'll get that clean. Is that what pre-mix is? Yeah. The pre-mix. Yeah. Pre-mix the dirt with the air. It's all the yes. There's the dirt. When I ride it. I, I didn't want to do the rental thing anymore because that was. Or you have a light. No more bikes. <laughs> that was terrifying. Like I just knew that someone was going to get really hurt. There we go. There we go. Nice. So everybody, that doesn't actually look all that terrible. Just honed it. Just yeah, it's just been. It's it, it, High speed home. This thing did not have many hours on this piston. It was. Uh, Definitely a pretty low hour piston. Um, 
um, because the guy that I got the bike from had just done a top end. But the biggest question for me is how is the crank and it feels good. So happy about that because it really didn't. One issue, everybody, with two strokes is one of the ver two things I can think of that I don't love about two strokes. One are pipes. I'm tired of replacing <laughs> exhaust pipes and fixing them. On my, I love doing it on other people's bikes, but on my bikes, don't love it. So I don't like two stroke pipes. Um, and then also, I don't love that the crank and the top end and all that are all connected. That means that if any dirt comes in, it doesn't just stick to the top end, it goes to the bottom end, it goes everywhere. So, but fortunately, uh, we got lucky and I think we're gonna be just fine. So if anybody has any questions, please ask. We may have to send this cylinder out, but we're not gonna do it quite yet. We're gonna put a piston in it anyway. Um, hang on, let me grab a... See right there, guys? There you go. See that aluminum? I think we'll go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and send it out. But so if you see right there that discoloration Leave me hang. Well you know you're good. You stay you stay where you are, Brody. There you go. See that discoloration right there? That is the Nicosil being missing on the exhaust side. The question is, is that from this or is it from another time? Because the guy that bought or gave me this bike Okay, no gift horse in the mouse, <laughs> because thank you very much, Robbie Noyles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm guessing he put a piston in it because to be really nice and give it to me for free. Um, there's a chance that that damage had already started because I, I don't know. He, it ran and it ran poorly, but I'm half guessing that that's not from this whole situation, especially since it's on the exhaust side, not the intake side. Now let's get the piston off of there and take a look. As with everything, we're gonna take a rag, put it underneath. What we don't want to do is have circlips go in the bottom end, and then we gotta deal with that. There it goes. It's all right. That's why we put the rag in there. That came out really nice, which is good. It means it didn't get too hot. Top of the rod looks good. Didn't get beat up. So we're good there. Now, broods, follow me over here. You know what? Ha, ah, this is gonna be good for everyone. For everyone to see. Job, Brody. Way to go, bud. Brody, what's your uh, YouTube channel name? Uh, Bowhunter1009. Bowhunter1009. I'm gonna put a link in the description for his YouTube channel. You guys go check it out. If you think it's awesome, subscribe. If you think, look at him, he's awesome. So subscribe anyway. So this is interesting, guys. I think this failure. No, it's a vertex, okay. So I was worried that this was because uh, this is a Weisco, but it's not a Weisco, it's a vertex piston. Thank you, Robbie, for that. But I'm guessing maybe just not having the air filter in there and having it get hot cause that to heat up and you see right there let me see if I can focus seriously focus there oh my gosh there we go see right there that ring is not around right there it's flat and that got hot so I don't know that's I'm gonna blame that kid uh, and this whole situation but I don't think I don't know that that actually I don't know guys comment below on whether you think that was the open air filter to the world and sand or if you think that was maybe something else because I kind of think something else may have caused that um, maybe it got hot at one point I'm not sure but let's take a look at the ring all right guys so let's take a look at this ring i don't know if i'm going to be able to show this very well there, there we go so see that that is where it was losing compression right there and that lines up with that bridge where's my light so it lines up with that bridge which would have grown i think it probably was over the heat i think it probably got hot from having the air filter off leaking air anyway there we go. That lines up with that bridge, which would have maybe grown into the cylinder as it got too hot. 
causing it to wear that, causing it to not run so good. And you guys can see, or I don't know if you can or not, I can see that that part of the ring got really hot. So there you go. There's the problem. Sorry we aren't gonna fix it on this video because I am just gonna send that out and get it fixed for real. Um, because why not? I'm not gonna, I could put this back together and honestly, with a new piston, new rings, shine it all up, they'd probably run just fine for quite a while. But it's my kid's bike and well, it's not his bike yet because he's not quite big enough to ride it, but it will be his bike very soon. And I want it to be good and not have any issues. So, yeah, there we go. Um, that's gonna be the end of that. We can all blame Otto. Where'd Otto go? Otto, get over here. That's Otto's brother. And he should make fun of Otto for breaking the motorcycle. He definitely uh, should. <laughs> he's grounded. He's grounded. So, yeah, guys. Um, sorry, a little bit of short video, but uh, we've got a night. We're having a learning night here. So I'm gonna turn the camera off talk to these guys and uh, yeah make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be going all back together with this thing here pretty soon